Hello, and welcome to Clinic 8. In this tutorial video, we'll cover how to add, view, and edit patient records in your account. We'll be taking a closer look at how to fully complete a patient record, including adding chart notes and documents for later reference. If you haven't yet set up your account or saved any patient records in it, please see our other tutorial videos for help. You can find these via our customer support portal. Let's get started. Once you've logged into your account, go to the Manage Patient section in the left-hand menu. You may already have some patient records saved into your account if it's already been set up for billing, or your account may be empty at this point. If you are using a billing software before switching to ClinicAid, it's possible to add a larger batch of patients at once using our demographic import feature. It's best to contact one of our support reps before going ahead with a patient import. Incorrect formatting of the import file may result in duplicate patient records being uploaded to your account, so get in touch with us to discuss whether or not this option will work for you. Add a new patient record using the Add Patient or Quick Patient buttons. Add as much information as you need to this new demographic record. The minimum amount of information required is the patient's first name, last name, and health number. You can still create patients without including some of these details, but you will receive a warning in ClinicAid to make sure that the missing information is intentional before being able to save the patient record. You can add a photo to the record and complete contact, health, and employer information. If you add default information in the Health and Service Information section, such as default service or diagnostic codes, a default admission date, or a default referral provider, these fields will pre-fill for this patient each time you select them for billing going forward. You can also add reminder notes in the bottom note section of the patient record. These notes will show up in the patient information section when creating or viewing an invoice for this patient. Using the PDF Label button, you can easily create a label for the patient that can be printed using a label printer. You can also use the Quick Patient form to add a new patient. This form is accessed either from the Quick Patient button in the Manage Patients section, or via the plus sign next to the patient field on the Create Invoice screen. The Quick Patient form can be customized to add or remove fields based on the information you usually complete for your billing. This can be done in the Preferences section on the left-hand menu. Select Settings, click on the Patient Quick Forms tab, and click the blue pencil icon to edit the form's default fields. When adding a new patient, you can select which quick form you'd like to use via the drop-down menu in the top right corner of the window. You can go back to view, edit, or delete patient demographic records at any time. Use the three buttons on the right side of the screen, or click on the name of the patient you'd like to view or edit. When viewing a patient, you'll see new sections appear on the right-hand side of the screen. These sections should show a list of appointments, missed billing opportunities, and previous bills for this patient. You can also create an export of the patient data that is displayed on your screen using the Export CSV button in the right bottom corner. Type in a patient or provider name in the search fields and narrow down the results by status if necessary. Customize the data displayed using the columns feature and add or remove the data fields you need. The order of columns can be adjusted by dragging fields up or down. Apply the changes you've made and hit the export CSV button to get a copy of the data that you can then open in spreadsheet format. Please note that every patient in your ClinicAid account will have a status. 
any patient you create will automatically be set to active until you set them as inactive or disable the patient. You can set patients as inactive or disabled by editing the status in their patient record. You can also use the red X icon on the right hand side to disable patients. Inactive and disabled patients will no longer show up in your account by default, so they will not appear in search results when selecting a patient to create an invoice for. But you can still search for them in the Manage Patients section. Use the drop down menu in the top right corner of the screen to narrow down your search to the appropriate status and click Go to display your search results. You can re enable patients using the green refresh icon. Chart notes can be added to a patient record as well. When viewing a patient's record, click on the Chart Notes tab and add a new note. Notes can be saved to the patient record, selected for future editing, and also have a handy Bill button that takes you to the invoice creation screen for quick billing. You can save notes and sign off on them later. A revision history is kept and updated each time you save a note. Using our handy What You See Is What You Get editor, you are able to change the formatting of your text, including font style and size. This is especially handy to highlight important points in your notes. The encounter date and time will pre-fill to the current date and time, unless the note was created from the schedule screen in your account. In that case, the appointment date and time will pre-fill and can be modified. Record the primary reason for the visit in the reason box and include additional details using the notes section. You can also print selected chart notes if needed. Notes are listed in chronological order with the newest note at the top of the list. Unsigned notes are outlined with an orange border. You can search through your notes by using the search field. You're also able to add documents to patient records. This feature can be handy for lab results copies of external claim documents, or whatever other additional resources you may need for a particular patient. Go to the third Documents tab when viewing a patient's record, click on the Add Document button, and select or drag and drop the appropriate documents to add. You're also able to select multiple documents at once for easy importing. You can either hold Ctrl or Shift on your keyboard to select multiple files at once, or drag a box around the documents you want to upload. Give the document a description and select which category to file it under. Once saved, you can go back to download, edit, or delete the document you've added. To narrow down your list of visible documents, simply select the type of document you're looking for using the drop-down menu on the right and hit the Go button. We hope this video has helped you familiarize yourself with patient records in your Clinicaid account. If you have any questions, please feel free to consult our customer support portal for more resources and links to our other tutorial videos. As well, you can contact one of our friendly support reps for additional assistance. Thanks for watching and happy billing.